We're back at the show, uh, the What's Cooking show. Uh, we're finishing up our dish. We're going to let it simmer just for a little bit. But uh, we're talking French Friday and things like that. So, um, you know, let's let our, our dish simmer. So, Ms. Wanda, again, on French Friday, this has been going on for three or four years, you said? Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I know three years for sure and possibly four, but I think it's been three. I should have had my statistics in order, huh? <laughs> 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 All we know is it's coming up, right? But um, All we need to know is the information you gave us already. The but dates, it's always been on. it's always been such a fun event and the locals enjoy it. When you can get the well, locals yeah, I mean, out, that's a yeah. that's a good thing. It's a big deal. That's a big deal, yes. So um, and they look forward to it, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to it. Oh yeah. I mean, it's sure a lot of work. The weather's you know, gonna be perfect a, for it. Hopefully so, hopefully so. Um, that's that's the main ingredient, yeah. the yeah, weather. Really well. <laughs> Unfortunately, the weather. it's the, the most unpredictable one. Exactly. When the weather's right, everything else can Falls fall in into place. place. So right. we, on the last uh, part of the show, you were talking about the sandwiches at Back in Time. Oh, we sure did. Tell us yes. about them. I want to know what the Charles Lindbergh, what is that? Our sandwiches are a little bit different. You know, we have people that come in, they're like, I want a hamburger and french fries. We don't have hamburger and french fries. You can get that at the Palace. You can get it at Checkers. You can get it anywhere else. Anywhere. So we, and that's why, you Yeah, know, we don't do... That's why we don't um, want to do burgers. No, we want something a little out the box. And um, Jason was talking about the roast beef, and I have a feeling he's talking about the sliced roast beef with the hot pepper cheese, the sautéed onion and bell pepper, lettuce, yeah. tomatoes, um, and you can do that either on a um, French bread. That's what I had it on. Is that what you had? Mm -hmm. Or we do it on focaccia bread or really? croissant. Ooh. Yeah. And that that has been from day one. We you know we've been at the we the shop's been open almost 21 years, and that has been a favorite all this <coughs> now, time. Now, as many times I've been to Back in Time and have eaten. I've always had salads. You know, you'd always tell me, what you want, I'm gonna throw it together, <laughs> what kind of dressing, and they always come out good. You know, mm -hmm. they always, it's always a good thing. So, you know, one of my friends, he said, man, I'm, uh, I'm getting some food from back in time. Do you want, uh, you know, do you want something? I said, well, oh, sure, what, what you getting? And he said, man, I'll, I'll bring it to you. He said, uh, I'm getting the Charles Lindbergh. I said, man, I never had that one, what's on it? <laughs> bring it to me. <laughs> and he said, look, just let me bring, you like roast beef? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, okay, I'll tell you what, I will, uh, I'm going to bring it to you in a, in a second. And so I was at my house, and he came over there, and he kept bragging about how good it was. He'd had it before. And all these years I've gone and eaten back in time, and Been I've always had salads. salads. And I said, oh, man, it's, it's, very, it's, it's delicious. You know what we did um, the last few months? Um, we did a ham and fig sandwich on croissant on. with Swiss cheese. That has really been a hit. Really? And I haven't put it on the menu because you can't get figs all the time. That's right. You know, so you kind of yeah. have to play with it. You do it thing, as a yeah. special. But one of the sandwiches that has really, really become popular, it's like an Italian sandwich. It's ham, uh, turkey, salami, Italian bologna. And we use provolone cheese and Swiss cheese. We put a sun-dried tomato, basil, garlic sauce on it. I just put with, on two pounds just listening. <laughs> um, with <yeah>. black <laughs> olives, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions. And we do that on a focaccia bread <laughs> with a little jalapeno in it. That is, that is very, the, very yeah, popular. The one, huh? Very mm. popular. So. And it's, you know, you, you cater to the public, not to yourself. That's so. right. That's you know, right. Jason, when I first opened the shop, yeah. my son, uh, came by and he said, Mom, he said, you're not going to make it if you don't do a hamburger and french fries. Not said, true. Well, I said, I won't make it, you know, because I, that is not what I'm aiming for. Yeah, that's, that's not what I want to do. And, you know, it did take people a while to, to, mm -hmm. get used to get used to it. And people would come in and they'd leave. And I said, you're not hurting my feelings. Yeah. You that's know, right. you're not hurting my feelings if that's what you want. But it's, it's like... Like for me, when I put some things on special and I know they're delicious, I know they're a great dish. Right. But just by reading it and not seeing something, like there's no visual, right. that it will affect the sales. And like my wait staff, they'll try it and they'll say, man, that's the one. And they'll suggest it to the people, the customers. And sometimes they, they you know, sometimes Pick they don't want it. it. They just sometimes. don't want it. Sometimes they do. And when they do, would you? Usually when yeah, I and do. That's just, I mean, that's just the nature of, you know. And we also we have do. a really good corn crab shrimp um, soup. Yes. And a broccoli Swiss cheese soup. I bet Ooh. that's good. That we do. And then we just started doing our chili. And believe it or not, chili 
Yeah, you yeah. can get chili at Wendy's, but our mm. chili sells remarkably mm -hmm. well. well. Especially in the cold weather. Right. I love chili. Oh, my God. I'm going to tell you what, why don't soon. we go ahead and... You want me to spoon you up a little bit? Just a touch for now, because I'm going to eat a bunch when we get off when the When we get off the camera. <laughs> I just want to taste. Okay. One for you. You can all get a little taste. I like your little red and white dishes. Oh, that's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> I like them. You can pretend it's mine today. Okay. Yeah. And I guess I'm going to fix myself. Well, I haven't had well, breakfast, why so why not shrimp and corn for You're breakfast? Right. <laughs> we'll taste first, then we'll plate. There we go. That's delicious. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I think I might have added a little too much pepper. Mm. <laughs> no, it's good. It's not really. Delicious. Over rice, this would be great. Mm -hmm. I was just telling Joey, it would make a good soup, too. Mm -hmm. You know? Definitely the, would be. A little extra liquid and cream. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Very good. Great dish for French Friday. So. How about that? Yeah, that's good. It's very, very simple. Let's go ahead and plate one up. All right. I'll what? let you do it, Chef Jason. Yeah, we'll do that. Chef Jason. Oh, I'm the sous chef today. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pretty that is. And like we were saying earlier, you you used to uh, you usually have tomato in yours. Right. And this would be just excellent with a um, little bit of tomato, just because of the color for one. Wow. And there we have That's it. Good. That is beautiful. It's for something so simple. Yeah. How very, quickly very we simple. made that, you know? In 20 minutes. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> 20 minutes. It is really and good. And you could go a little further with it, like I said, make a soup, or you could cook it down, whatever. However you want to do it, huh? I think soup the best way would just be to, like, if you had a time, just put it on a little low heat and just let it just kind of simmer on down for a little while. See, I like it where it yeah. kind of um, caramelizes, yeah. you know, where yes, it's got a little, yes. yeah, I like that. Well, Ms. Wanda, quickly again, tell us about French uh, Friday. Come out and see us, French Friday, November 4th, 6th, and... You can come at whatever time you want, but it starts at 6, and it's over at 10, and we will have artists out there, and um, there's a chalk walk, and good food, and... Too much to name, really. Great fun, and good people. Yeah, come that's great bands, too, going out. Great bands. Uh, Horace, uh, since he did that new uh, CD, he has really, really... Um, been bringing in the people to listen to Great, that's so what uh, right well, and of thank course you so much Kenny. for coming uh, right. Ms. Wanda. thank y'all always enjoy well, thank being you Ms. Wanda. yeah we enjoy having you all the time so if, again if you want to copy this recipe just go to our website kdcg.com click on the what's cooking show and uh, all the recipes will be there for you to enjoy and thank you all for watching the what's cooking show join us back us next week